Good morning. It's Friday morning, October the 22nd, 2021. And it's a blessing to be able to share some thoughts with you from the Word of God today. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And we're starting Proverbs chapter 17 this morning. If you'd open your Bible to Proverbs chapter 17, we'll read verse 1 and talk about the principles that are found in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 1. The Bible says here, Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a, ha than a house full of sacrifices with strife. Now, in the first place, sometimes sacrifices are not right. Isaiah chapter 1 speaks of the fact that God said, I'm sick of your sacrifices. I just don't want them. Because the heart condition was not consistent with the attitude of sacrifice and humility and submission to God. And the Lord said, it's all just a show. I don't want that. But the main principle that's being expressed here is that peace is a very important commodity. And it's better to have a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifices with strife. You'd be better off, a person would be better off not having much of anything and hardly enough to eat, just having leftovers to eat and have a calm and peaceful, a happy home life than to have a house full of sacrifices. In other words, having lots of extra on hand, but having strife in the home. And this is reminiscent of a couple of verses in Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 9, and then again in verse 19 in the same chapter that talk about a contentious woman and it'd be better to dwell in the corner of a housetop than with a contentious woman in a white house. And it's better to have peace and quietness and not have very much else than to have plenty and to live in contention and strife. We desire the peace of God and, and God promises it in Proverbs chapter 4. We read about the peace of God that passes all understanding and quietness in the life and peace are great commodities. I've often said that one of the most profound and one of the cl most clearly, uh, evident, clearly identifiable evidences of real salvation is that when a person gets saved, they have, they have peace in their heart. And Christ promised peace for his children. He wants us to enjoy that peace. And you don't have to have a lot of stuff in order to have peace in your heart. In fact, sometimes having a lot of stuff uh, takes away from the peace that a person can experience, just having their eyes and their confidence and the trust in the Lord. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 6 that the love of money is the root of all evil. It causes a lot of problems in a person's life if we have the wrong emphasis on material things, on material substance. It's better just to live with our eyes on the Lord, trusting him day by day and experiencing his peace. Even if we don't have very much, and that's what Proverbs chapter 17 verse 1 is about, it's better just to have a dry morsel of bread, just a little bit, just a crust of bread, if you have quietness in your home and in your heart than to have a whole lot of luxurious surroundings and have plenty and a lot of trouble with it. God places a high premium on peace and peace in the heart is very, very important and more valuable than most of the things that people place high value on. You can experience God's peace today. Just get your trust, get your confidence and your focus on Him and put your confidence and trust in the Lord and trust Him to get you through. Spend time in your Bible. You'll find over and over again that God wants His children to experience joy and His peace in their life. May you have it today. God bless you.